In a Washington federal courtroom, jurors, attorneys, prosecutors, and Stuart Rhodes witnessed a judicial rarity, the first seditious conspiracy conviction since 1995 handed down to Rhodes, who lives in North Texas. We're disappointed in the guilty verdicts. Uh, there was no evidence introduced to indicate that there was a plan to uh, attack the Capitol. From the air, we watched FBI agents raid this home in Little Elm where Rhodes was arrested in January. He was hit with that Civil War era charge that carries a maximum of 20 years in prison. <laughs> Prosecutors spent eight weeks arguing that Rhodes and four others conspired to disrupt and oppose the peaceful transfer of power from former President Trump to now President Joe Biden by force on January 6th. Rhodes, the founder of the Oath Keepers, a far-right militant group that was at the Capitol that day. Many stormed the building. The Justice Department has brought only a few cases of seditious conspiracy in the last, you know, several decades. John Helms is an attorney in North Texas and a former federal prosecutor. It's groundbreaking, but also, I mean, the events of January 6th were just unprecedented. He says a charge of seditious conspiracy is complex and it's difficult to secure a conviction, but added that prosecutors had more than enough evidence. You might see it in certain cases of, you know, terrorism related cases, but it's very rare. Rhodes' attorneys disappointed Tuesday, saying they got a fair trial, but will appeal. do believe uh, that they gave us a fair trial. That had this been tried in a different jurisdiction, um, the results could have substantively been different. Sentencing must happen first, though. Far from over. That won't happen, Helm says, for several months. In Dallas, I'm Matt Howerton.